go. Well, it's not really gopher wood. I just like the wordplay. No, it's pine and maple. It was clear cut from this valley to make room for all those houses. Excuse me, do I know you? Not as well as I'd like. I see you got my housewarming gift. That was you? You sent those? What are they for? Hey, hey. Genesis chapter 6, verse 14. I want you to build an ark. You want me to build an ark? Yes. So that's why the tools and you are responsible for the wood? Uh-huh. All right. Well, uh, let's just start over. Ha <clears throat> ha. Hello. I am Evan, Evan Baxter. Baxter. I'm born June 15th, 1962. Eight pounds, 11 ounces. Mother's Carol Ann Parker. Father Eugene Evan Baxter. Ooh, you have internet access. Very impressive. Do you also have cable? You're a clean freak. You care much too much about your outward appearance. Your left nipple is a quarter inch higher than your right nipple. And when you were a little boy, you were afraid of Gumby. Who are you? I'm God. You're God? Yes. And I want you, Evan Baxter, to build a mark. Okay, you know what? This conversation is a little thing I like to call over. But I gotta get going because, frankly, I have an art to build. Busy, 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 busy. Nice meeting you. Take care. Oh, and... All right, see you later. Shake it off, Evan. It's over. The nutcase is gone. I am successful, I'm powerful, I'm handsome, I'm happy. Successful, powerful, handsome, Emma! <gasps> oh! Get it out, son. It's the beginning of wisdom. How did you get in here? Oh, I'm calling the cops. Oh, no, no need. Look, look, there's one right there. Right there. Officer! 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 Carjacker! Carjacker in the car! Carjacker in the car! Uh, oh! Oh! Careful pulling out. Pedestrian in the crosswalk. Oh. 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 time. Long just called. He's on his way with the powers that be. Who are they, Gene? Talk. Congressman Jim Dodd, head of Ways and Means. But don't worry, sir. He's definitely not way mean. That's speculation. I don't know him personally. That's too much, Gene. Who else? Congressman Richard Stamp, head of Commerce and Bob Hughes' Transportation. I have a draft of your support Sounds letter. Sounds like a plan. Are you all right? I'm good. You sure you're good? Okay. Morning, Gene. Morning, Rita. You okay? I'm fine. You don't look so good. That's what I said. Y'all jumpy? Are you on that fin fin? Guys, I'm fine. I'll be inside. Staff, this is Rita Daniels, his executive assistant. Are you ready, sir? No, 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 dirty, 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 Baxter's only a freshman, sir, but I think you'll find he is locked and loaded. Good, maybe this young stud can help me get these old mares on board. Oh, you'll be impressed. Gentlemen, good to see you. Do you want to explain to yourself, Congressman, what is going on? Oh, these are birds. What are they doing here? How did they get in here? Well, that is an excellent question. And my response to said question is they are trained aviaries, sir. Let me make you see what I'm talking about. I can make any sort of movement 
and they will not get off. Do you have a point, Congressman? Hey, guys, what's the point? What's my point? Ow! I'll tell you. The point is that man needs to dominate creatures. Oh, and ultimately, man must dictate what happens in this country. God bless America. I couldn't agree more. You have got to be kidding me. No, of course not. We lost a huge project last year because of the red-headed woodpecker. Those environmentalists got so up in arms over the potential disappearance of one stupid bird. Yeah, birds are stupid sometimes. We lost over $25 million in business. I see where you're going with this, Congressman. Good work. Your little display is obviously <laughs> hit a chord. Gentlemen. <laughs> From now on, let's keep the surprises to a maximum of, say, none. Understood? Yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. Successful, I am powerful, I am handsome, I am happy. Successful, powerful, handsome, happy. All right, everyone. Wish me luck. The congressman has left the building. All right, back to Brood. I will see you later on this afternoon for the big hike, huh? Yes? Huh? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Bye. Good luck, honey. See ya. Bye, Bye guys. See you later. See you later. Later. Ow. Gosh. Wow. Honey, did you order anything? Alpha and Omega hardware? Never heard of them. Me either. What do we have? <gasps> what is this stuff? Must have the wrong address. <laughs> yep, wrong address. Congressman Baxter, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Congressman Baxter. Hello. Good morning, Congressman Baxter. Good morning. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah. This will work. There he is. The head honcho, the big kahuna. Rita, I think I have to do the dance. Do the dance. That's enough mm. for the dance. Oh, this is nice. This is really nice. It's too nice. There's something crooked going on. Do you smell anthrax? Congressman. Hey, Marty. Ooh, nice sound of that. I like it. Here they are. Hey! All right! You remember Sarah, Alan, and Michael? I don't think you know the new kid, Eugene Tenenbaum. I found him at GW. Sort of a walking search engine. Watch this. How many stars in the flag in 1818? 15. And Congressman Baxter's coffee habits. He likes a morning latte with a cruller, a decaf espresso after lunch, served sans pastry of any kind. Very impressive, a little freaky, but I like this kid. <laughs> I love you. Hmm? I mean, we should hang out socially. I just got a ping pong table. Not going to happen. Yeah. Go find out where his license plates are. Everybody else, right. back to your holes. He's actually right. I'm doing background check on that kid. Ta-da! This, my friend, is a power office to remind you of the mission. Change, Change the world. world. Okay, Evan, who do you know? What do you mean? Oh, come on. Yesterday, we're in the basement. Today, look at this place. It's like the Emerald City. <laughs> Enjoy your office. Your neighbor, Congressman Long. Congressman Long did th Did you say neighbor? That's right. He lives in Prestige Crest, right up the street. Evan, you've got to tell me these things. Think of the publicity angle on this. You and Congressman Long having a barbecue. Congressman Long eating your hot dog. I hate to break up your little weenie roast. Congressman Long's assistant just dropped this off.